Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to remove the front buckets on a first generation Toyota Tacoma. This particular truck I am working with here today is a 2001 model and the driver's seat is equipped with the lumbar option. First, starting with the passenger seat, using a small pry tool, you'll need to pop up the caps off the end of the seat rails to expose the bolts underneath. Using a half inch drive ratchet for extra leverage and a 14 millimeter socket, loosen the bolts. The biggest problem I had was with the rear bolt closest to the door as it's directly exposed to any road debris underneath and you will most likely have debris on the threads. You can clean it up using a wire brush and apply some penetrating oil to help assist it out. Next is moving on to the front bolts. You'll need to slide the seat position back and there is two bolts again, so four in total. There are no wires underneath that seat that need to be disconnected. Now lift the seat out, it's not overly heavy, and the door opening is large enough that it can easily be lifted out. Here's a peek at the floor area. Next is moving on to the driver's side. Again, moving the seat forward and starting with the rear bolts first. Remove those plastic caps using a pry tool. Using a half inch drive ratchet with the 14 millimeter socket, remove the bolts. This time giving you a view underneath, I did apply penetrating oil to help remove the bolt and it's directly accessible under the floor of the truck. Remove the other bolt by the center console. The wires can be disconnected at the rear of the seat if it's forward or when it's flipped up, whichever is easiest for you. On this truck, there are two connectors, one for the seat belt and another for the lumbar. They do have tangs that are depressed and then you can pull the connector apart. Move the seat back and now remove the two front bolts. And then the seat can be lifted out just like the passenger side. Another view once the seat is removed. I removed the seat to clean the interior. The coffee stains were too hard to remove with the seats in place and I will have a full interior detailing video released in the future. While the seats are out, I was able to get any stains in the bolsters which were against the center console. Reinstallation is reverse of removal. The front mounts do have alignment pins which go into the floor. All the bolts were cleaned with a wire brush and had medium grade thread locker applied. If you have penetrating oil, a solvent can be used to wash that away to avoid any issues with the thread locker. I threaded the bolts in by hand first, so everything is lined up, then tighten the bolts down. The torque specifications for the seat bolts is 27 foot-pounds or 37 newton meters. Snap the plastic caps back into place. Moving on to the passenger side, again install the seat. Then install the bolts, just like before the bolts were cleaned and have thread locker applied. The torque specifications for the seat bolts is 27 foot pounds or 37 newton meters. Snap those caps back into place on the rear and you're officially done. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to follow my social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest projects. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.